All right, day number two of our seven day improv challenge. Are you guys ready? We start with the warm up. You will walk around the room, you will point at objects, and you will start a monologue based on that object. You will start bringing something from your past experience where you saw this, this object, which makes you think of something, and you do six times 10 seconds of these very quickly. Hanging clothes reminds me of my time in Mexico when I was putting clothes on my rooftop and then it always started raining when I was at school or university and it all got wet. <sighs> um, barbecue reminds me of actually not my hobby. I don't like putting on the barbecue because it takes just time, you just look at it and nothing happens and from time to time you switch the meat. Um, table, which brings me back to my childhood where I was going on a workshop with, it's now almost the same it's just prolonged monologue. So I would like you to do two times 30 seconds monologues based on any object that you see in your room. You can also come up with any other object that is not in your room. Uh, window reminds me of the Johari window or something like that, which is like a personal development thing of that some, there's four kind of windows. It's a four square matrix where first you know you don't know that you don't know, then you know that you don't know, then you don't know that you know, and then you don't know that you actually know, and you get awesome. Uh, social democracy. I love this exercise because it goes along the philosophy that we should rather invest than invent an improv, so bringing something from our own experience which makes our life easier on stage and requires less effort at the end of the day. Plus, it shows us that confidently we can talk about anything, any, any object, anything else by drawing back to our experiences in life. Plus, it's, it's one of the formats in improv. If you ever get invited as a guest monologist um, to, to a show, you have already trained your monologue improvisation muscle.